Hey, people, how's it going? We were getting ready to leave the pocket plane. Very well. Ooh. Ooh, gross, there's giants in the sewer water. Long, citizen. These people represent the concerns of the entire town. Please, good soldiers, hear their case. Our food is almost gone. Our children cry out in hunger. Your master must hear our plea. He can hear him, but he ain't gonna listen to him. The plight of peasants is not Gromnir Il Khan's concern. Stand aside, townsfolk. If you know what's good for you, you'll all head back to the on the outside the city will surely kill us all. Your master cannot just turn his back on us. Uh, yeah, he can Rid actually. Of these gates, you won't get another warning. Threats are not the answer here. Everyone stay calm, and we can work together to find a solution. Our orders are clear. Move these peasants along, or we'll move them along ourselves. No one do anything rash. Uh, perhaps if we return later, when it is more convenient for Gromner Il Khan to see us. It's never going to be convenient. No, Melisan. We will not be bullied this time. We will stay right here until they take us to Gromnir. We demand to see Gromnir. Take us to Ilkhan. There's just no reasoning with you people. You only understand the edge of a sword. I told you to clear these gates. You brought this on yourselves. No, put down your weapons. This is not necessary. To kill that fat bitch. What's this? A child of ball appears from nowhere? Impossible. Intruders! Spies! The walls have been breached! Raise the invaders! Attack! I best not be up front. No, hold your weapons! These might be allies! Come to help! Don't fall for their tricks! Kill them all! And let the gods sort them out! Hey, that sounds like a good plan. Why am I always up fucking what front? You have me do? Okay. Do you see all this stuff? Go kill it. Oh good, Saravox ready to kill people. Be quick with it. Hey, stop drinking those potions. Yes. Uh, no, it's probably not wise to drop a spell here. I'll rip you apart, you Get up there and fight. You were lucky then. Unlucky front house. I mean, I will take care of Corgan has no problem with running in there and beating Bring the shit out of people. I am Melisson, a friend. Welcome to Saradouche. I regret your first encounter in this town was so bloody. Uh, how do you know my name? I've watched the events of your life quite close. Uh oh. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Big fucking red flag! As I do with all the progeny of the Lord of Murder, I've seen many of your kin slain over these past months. Uh huh, and why are you watching us? You might consider me to be a guardian, for want of a better term. I know the prophecies of Alondo. I know some feel they allude to the return of all of the realms. Allude! It fucking spells this shit out! By taking active interest in the fall of Bates' offspring, you and those like you, I hope to prevent the Lord of Murder from returning into the realms in any form. Ah. I don't know how you came to be here, but I fear you're now trapped in Serdish like the rest of us. <laughs> you're cute. Yeah, I'm, it's gonna be my job to get everybody else out of here. There's a little hope of escape in this besieged town. In addition to the army surrounding us, dark magic prevents us from sending a message beyond the walls. 
Behind the walls of Sarah, you shall lie, awaits the ember of the Yagashura. They've lain siege to this town, seeking death to others who share your tainted blood. My blood ain't tainted. Okay, so what do I get other than well, being able to get out of here, I guess? I know much about you, Garion, and your destiny, but I'll only reveal it if you help the people of Saradush. You must deal with Gromnir, the man who runs the city of Saradush. Gromnir is also a child of Balos, once a powerful general. I brought him and his loyal men here to protect Saradush and the many Balspawn gathered to seek King's sanctuary. But Gromnir's mad. He's barricaded himself in the castle throne room, and his troops run among through the city with no regard to their lives and the rights of the citizens of Saradush. Hmm. Let's play this. Such betrayals worthy of death. Heavy on the sarcasm. The actions of Gromnir and his soldiers have caused dis dissension within the town. It made it almost impossible for the loyal Saradush military to defend the walls. We must first defeat the enemy within before we can end the siege. We must find a way to get in the castle to Gromnir. Perhaps you can reason with him, but I fear he's beyond reason. I'm afraid you have to kill the general to give Saradush any kind of hope of surviving the siege. Heavy on the sarcasm. For the sake of the town, I'll try to reason with this mad general. I may be difficult to find after this, Gary. Oh, of course you will be. You're going to go run and hide because you don't want to actually talk to me. You just want me to do your dirty work. The town suffers, and my hours are spent doing what I can for the people. If you have another question, I suggest you ask it here. Tell me about Yagashura. It's a boss one, Gary. Perhaps as powerful as your son. No, I don't think so. He and his army will not rest until every child of all within these walls lies dead. Well, we know why he wants to kill him. Until you prove yourself, there are some secrets. Oh. I'm not going to tell you. Um, any way to get in? <coughs> Governor's own mages make approaching the gates hopeless. You have to find another way in. I just pray one exists. No questions. Ah, uh, supplies? Most people resent the presence of yet another ball spawn. The innkeeper at the tanker tree is more tolerant than most, and the temple of Joaquin will turn no one away. More questions. Any idea how long we've got? Since you could last for a few days or a few months. Act quickly, and fortune shine on your mission. I will listen. Now, will the one thing you need to know about Saradush is fireballs like to drop from the sky all the time. Like that. Ooh, he had money. And magic item. Did we get everything? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Okie dokie. A waste of my talents. But so be it. Fireball lands there. One lands here. And I believe one lands here, I think. If I remember correctly. Speed is your friend. Just get here, we should be safe. Let's go inside. Whew. Shit's going down. Halberd plus two. No big thing. She passes it back. These guys are all... This is in the wrong spot. Oh my god. There, that should be good. Oh, awesome. <coughs> ok, 
Can we save? Save? Yes. Forgot how to spell it for a minute. All right. Very well. All right. Let's talk to this guy. I got some cheap beer for you. Would you like to see your services? Yes, please. I just depleted my larders, but you're welcome to what I have in stock. Can have that. Can have that. Ooh. Yes, here there are things. Those are buy things. Everybody wants the rod of resurrection. Can have that. That, that, that. How the fuck did we pick up a plain old helmet? I don't know. Okay. I'm good. All right. Do we have anything here of interest? I used to have one of those. I don't think there's much till we get down. Maybe that's the other shop. Believe it or not, we actually have to buy bolts. How odd. Bullets plus three. Mm. And bullets plus four. Mm. Paws of the cheetah. Oh yeah. That will come in handy later. And if you're curious about Yamamoto. This is plus four. Okay. Now, we have boots of speed. Um. She shall accept the boots of speed. There we go. So we only need two more. It's going to be a little useless for her. What's he wearing? Since the cat. I really should give boots of speed to Edwin. He's the one. Well, no, actually. I will assume this applies to Drow as well, since they're just elves of dark skin. So... Only Gary and Nikonia are the ones that are unaffected by haste. <laughs> so if people should not be wearing boots of speed, it should be them. But no. Alright. Uh, you guys look like you're looking for a fight. Get away, woman. What do you want? Can't you see we're, bu we're busy with this cute... Oh, I thought that said cute little lass here. Leave the woman alone. I see violence in your stairs. Go ahead, make your move. Promise it won't live past happy hour. Cry. No. You were lucky then, but luck runs out. Ooh. Now it looks good, but it's not really that great. 
just um, plus threes. Can she even identify this stuff? Well, let's give it to her and find out. I said, let's give it to her and find out. Oh my god, mouse, why you no work? Looks like plus three, large shield plus two, warhammer, full plate, mace plus two, split mail. Okay, Edwin, those pocks. Okay, okay, thanks. Full plate plus one, warhammer plus three. Awesome. Well, free stuff, put it that way. I look forward to it. Yep. Subtle stuff. Hey man, money. We will accept it. We're we're under two hundred grand. <coughs> he loves his axe. Mind your tone. Kill them all and have done with it. Let's go up here. Get this out of the way first. Very well. Aye, that be sounded right. So be it. Oh, all right. Trust is for the foolish and the dead. Very well. I fear nothing. Protect the back. Mm. All right. This is. Volo. Remember him from Nashkel? I pointed down because, you know, it's a down. But from where we're at, it's, it's actually up. What? Uh, yes, the, uh, a tab. Um, uh, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have you. Uh, I knew you would turn up eventually. Volo, thank good arm. I said to myself, rest assured, wherever history's been made, Gary and his companions are close at hand. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, he's probably getting drunk. It's a bar. Sure, you know wherever history's being made. I, Volo, would like to be there to chronicle events. You didn't become the most famous. I didn't become the. I'm too drunk. Believe it or not, you don't become the most famous historian of Beirut without finding yourself right in the thick of things. Of course, this time I'm a little closer than I normally like to get, but uh, don't worry about me. I always find a way to get out of these situations. Well, what can I do for you? Oh no, Gary. The question is, what can I do for you? The answer, of course, is immortalize you and your companions into my historical records. Here's a little preview of what I've got so far. <coughs> Raised as a child in the cloistered confines of Candlekeep, Garion emerged from these humble beginnings to become one of the most powerful mortals that ever set foot upon the face of Toril. Saving the city of Baldur's Gate, defeating the mad mage John Irenicus, preserving the Tree of Life, such heroic accomplishments are mere footnotes in the epic tale of Garion, the greatest of the children of Baal. <clears throat> That's just a, just a small taste of my answer in your exploits. Of course, the ending is not yet complete, and it's still the first chapter, but you get the idea, and that's not all. If you care to listen, I give you a small preview of what I'm going to say about those who have the glory of adventuring with you. Sure. Which of your companions would you like to hear about now? Let's hear about Viconia. The fierce, deadly servant of Shar has achieved a sort of immortal fame enjoyed only by another drow of Faerun. And while Justo Erden is a hero of the first magnitude, Viconia's name will be forever uttered with hushed respect. None of Shar's faith will have ever been more fierce. A worthy description, perhaps, though another drow you mention is nothing compared to me. It deserves no mention when I'm the topic of discussion. But it is your manuscript. Ah, uh, tell me about Edwin. Edwin Odesseron, arcane master of the dark necromancy. A Thavian wizard's very name strikes fear into the hearts of most mortals. What? That's it? I mentioned how I could squash pathetic elements with a wave of my little finger? Bah, writers. Strength of the fear with my name is good. Yes, that's fair. How about... about Corgan? Of all the great warriors to come from the ranks of the dwarves, Corgan is one name, terrible deeds, that are already achieved legendary status. Pray that your path does not cross the gruff battle ragers, for never has a more efficient killer walked the plains. Damn right! How about Saravok? You... don't... Saravok? He's with you? Yeah, he's, the he's hulking right behind me. Amazing. I'd heard the warrior of masterful skill was sighted traveling with you, Gary, but uh, even I could not guess the convolution. Imagine, the very man who once tried to kill you now fights by your side. I shall have to write this down now so I don't forget. What a fantastic tale this will make. It was a good enough tale when I was alive the first time, sycophantic fool. Tell me about Dorn. <coughs> 
Dornil Khan and Garion is surely a match made in the darkest of the Nine Hills. The Butcher of the Barrow and the Scourge of the Sword Coast will continue to cut a bloody swath through all who stand against them, and several with the ill fortune to just stand in their general vicinity. A dark fate awaits them. But they have no fear of the darkness. Indeed, they've made a habit of embracing it. A dark fate? I think you mean a glorious one. Ah, no, that's enough. Thank you, Gary, and I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to meet you while you're still in the middle of an adventure that will change the realms. Truly, I can only hope to do your tale justice. It's not what your mom said last night. Have a peek in there. Locked! This is where you keep your booze? This is where you keep your booze. And those are potions of superior healing. <coughs> this is where you start getting them. So I guess maybe we should start look um, looking for traps. There he is. There he is. Tepid. Tepid's a badass. Of course. He's better than the fucking cats at Candlekeep, I'll tell you that. Let's quick save. Did I just pick up a silver necklace? <coughs> I use silver necklace. Ugh. All right. I will enjoy this. Get our armor up. And quick save there. Go tepid. I will take care of this. It will be done. Incoming, run for your ah. lives. Ouch. This is Arcana Archives. Easily. Have a look at my wares. I trust Lazarus Liberus at your service. Me. Welcome to the Arcana Archives. Oh, I'd normally invite you to look at my magical wares, but last my shelves are completely bare. I have not a single parchment left to purchase. My spellbook has been stolen. Without it, I cannot fashion powerful scrolls, which would normally fill my shop. I beg of you to help a humble wizard. Um, okay, I want to know what's in the shop. <coughs> Thank you for your aid in solving my theft of my spellbook. Is there anything I can do to aid with your investigation? Uh, tell me about the crime. I suspected Hecton. He's well known about the part town with the sticky fingers, but after questioning many witnesses, it's clear that Hecton was at the pub from dusk until dawn the night of the theft. I suspect no good thief. Hecton was involved, but I, can't, I can clearly see the guilt on his face. There's no proof that my spell book, I'm powerless to pursue this myself. A newcomer, I have no one else to turn to. Okay, any clues? It doesn't point to Hecton, but there's a set of muddy footprints sitting out my window. Small footprints, too small for Hecton. I forgot that's that's all I got. Hecton's usually at the Tanker Tree. I'll go speak to Hecton. Godspeed. Without my spell book, I have no way to restock my inventory with the precious goals I normally carry. All right. You are going some a waste of my time. Mm. Yes. I don't know if you heard that. Very well. All right. Is this the dude we need to talk to, Squip? Yep. Let's oh talk yeah. to Squip. What you want? You think it has to be because I'm a kid? Uh, you know anything about my spellbook? 
Oh, just because I'm a street urchin, you know, I think I know this about stole books. I always blame scripted this, scripted that, you got no proof. There are many footprints. All right, I might know something about that. I can help you out for a thousand gold. I got balls, I'll give him that. I'll give you five gold. <gasps> I've never had so much money in my life. All right. I sold the book for Hector. He paid me to do it. Plan the book, I gave it to him. Honest. Let's string the elves up. Oh, let's not. You got some business with us? Think hard, because you don't want to have business with us. Leave the elves alone. You find elves, you find elf lovers. Mind your own business, you won't get hurt. Back off. Paul's fine, look, we're just having fun. We don't want no trouble with you. We ain't stupid. The fair folk rarely we don't want any bloodshed, but we won't allow those men to defile our women. Don't let them. The fair folk rarely Thanks for saving us. We have nowhere to stay. We have no choice but what to wander the streets. Go check the church. Do I have to do everything for you people? So, I get remain at your side. I am surprised. But from your constant wary glances, it seems that you do not trust my presence. Yet. And you're surprised by that? You've grown in power, so I didn't expect you to fear me as you once might have. I do expect a lack of trust, the suspicion that I might betray you. If I were you, I'd feel the same. It eats away at me, then, as to why you would agree to take me with you, not force some form of compliance through me an oath. I told you that oaths have real power in our father's realm. Yeah, I don't believe in enslaving the wills of others. So, if you allow me to make my own destiny by your side, trusting I will not betray you. Oh, I, I don't trust that you won't betray me. It's just I'm not going to make you do something you don't want to do. I mean, but why? You avenge to decide. Why wouldn't I not do so if I thought I could gain advantage? You have used to me. I'm willing to take the risk. Tell you it all out there. Yes, I understand the use of one with warrior skills, especially one that you have little cause to fear. It's the lack of restraint that confuses me when it's available. So be it. So here's the church. I look forward to it. Make a run for the border. Let's deal with the elves. Hey, puppy! I am Dorn Khan. I do as I will. You do not give me orders. Nothing. I told you to go in this building, didn't I? As always, my pleasure. Greetings, my sister. Welcome to the house of Joaquin. I'm Sister Fariel. How may I serve you? Uh, can some elves chill with you? Elves are welcome to come here for refuge, just as any of supper. Had I known they had no place to stay, I would have made the offer. Is there any more I can do to aid you? Uh, do you know a way to get into the castle? You wish to get inside the castle. You could, okay. I wouldn't suggest anyone they seek out ground there. In his mind, he's capable of anything. Uh, I ain't afraid. No, no, I can't help you. You'll have to find your aid in this task elsewhere. Alright. Uh, let's check your services. We don't have much, but this is what we got. All right. What would you have me do? Can we save? We could save you. Yes. Very yes. Well. I look forward to it. What the fuck's going on here? Something on your mind. Dwarves no respect. If it weren't for our own taking them in, they'd be dead already. 
Shall we, they want, we can give it to him. Are you with us? Real enemies outside the gates. The self is a ball spot. Look, brawl on the streets is one thing. Mine was looking to get killed. Come on, let, you heard the woman. Let's clear out. Oh, that's right. Oh, there's a dead man. We'll go stand here. Garen will go talk to the elves again. Go to the Temple of Joaquin, just be careful. Surface dwellers can be so stupid. I will listen, for I will enjoy this. Okay. Come on, everybody. Get in. Alright. Could my opinion of this group drop any lower? Evidently so. Did we get a rep point or something? Is that why they're bitching? Where's it at? Eh, we're popular. Well, that's okay. All right. Oh, we should kill something soon. My impatience grows. This is the guy we want to talk to. Good day to you, sir. Strangers are a rare sight in Saradush these days. Uh, I want to ask you about a spell book. I see where this is going. <laughs> Liza's barking up the wrong tree. I was, I was here all night. I want to prove it. Well, I talked to Scrip. He told me. I took the book, but I don't have it with me. If you kill me, Lazarus will never get it. I'm not a bad man. I took the book because I thought I could use it to get out of the city. Lazarus has a teleportation scroll to escape the city. I know it. If you get me that scroll, I'll give you the spell book. Okay. Speak to Lazarus or don't, it's your choice. But until you have the scroll, we have nothing more to discuss. Well, I want the shop open. Go tepid, kill that rat. I'd better times drown and face first in gutter water, bleeding from every orifice, don't you know? It will be done. Get this done. What the? Did you see that? Easily. Have a look There's something on the floor. I trust you'll find the Thank you for your aid and someone theft my spell book. Is there anything I can do to aid you? <coughs> he admitted he took this book. He'll give it back in exchange for a teleportation scroll. I knew he was to blame. He's a fool who thinks the scroll will help him. I, I do have one, and I'll trade it, but it's useless. Not sure his mages cast a powerful spell imprisoning us here. Any f one foolish enough to attempt to escape will be rebounded off invisible walls. Grizzly and messy fate. But here it is. I'll leave the choice up to you. If you want to warn him, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. I just want my frickin' spell book. A waste of my talents. But yeah, did you see it. that? When we first came in, we had an opportunity to loot something. Very well. We may have to learn, um, <laughs> Shazbot. I look forward to it. Protection from fire. Yeah, Tepid, own that. Don't forget to level up. Okay, let me quick save. What would you like? Speak to or don't, it's your choice. I have the scroll right here. You have it? Give it to me. Here, take the book. I don't need it. Okay. You lose reputation. I'm not sure. I think it's like two, but there we go. Yes, the longer I wait, the more chance I have of losing the scroll. I should use it right now. Oh, one. Hey, no problem. Oh, what an idiot. I had not thought this group capable of pleasing me, but I am impressed. Kill them all. There, we were evil. Are you happy? 
appears I made the right decision in joining you after all. I've, I've never done that. I thought it was pretty cool. So let's get to Very the shop. Aye, this be a grand enough. Mayhap I won't be needing to kill you all any time soon. <laughs> all right. I look forward to it. Here's your spell book. Yay! Please feel free to peruse my vast collection of enchanted parchments. Say anything you like, I'm sure you can work on a mutually beneficial exchange of coin for the set item. Alright, what do you got? What you got? Alright. We'll have some of that. These are always useful. Now for the good stuff. Where's your good stuff? I don't know if we've got those. I'll have to check. Protection from acid. Yes, it's back. I feel so good. There's so many spells here that I don't know if we know. Oh, he's got all the stuff. He's got all the stuff. <gasps> Wish. Power word kill. Imprisonment. Freedom. This is where it's all blown to hell. No, we'll buy one. Now let's check his robes. Bah, my robe's not even good anymore. <gasps> Fucking bullshit case. Get in. Pause the cheetah, yes please. Alright. Oh, Servok level up. Cannot save it this time. God damn it. Uh oh, we are partners, are we not? Uh, we're far more than that, right? I once predicted you would become a power within the realms, and I was right. I stood by you, fought by your side. We've become lovers and more. Okay. Yes. I would be more than your lover, Garen. I would be your sworn brother, an avatar of your will in the realms. Yes! Will you grant me this boon, Garen? Will you share with me your glory? Yes! We will make our mark upon the realms, Garen. I promise you that. I knew it! I knew it! We need to get to the tank tree so we can save. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Whew. I will take care. All right. Now we can save. And we'll do uh spell sorting tomorrow. So, I will see you.